Hello! Today I want to show you how to make an abstract background and the golden gym sign from scratches in GIMP 2.8. This is how our wallpaper is going to look like. Sometimes it's really nice to be able to create your own things for your computer screen background or your phone or even tablet. Let's start from making a new file. I have made mine already because uh, the size of the file is just resizing the size of my video and we don't want this. So you just need to create a file 900 by 600 pixels vertical position and press OK and fill it well, with white color. Now we are going to create our own gradient and I'm going to show you how. Take the Blend tool and in Tool Options click on the gradient. Then click on the icon at the bottom of the right corner. If your gradients dialog hasn't opened, you need to click on the small triangle and then add tab and find the gradients dialog. Next click on the second icon on the left. To speed up the process of explanation, I'm going to activate the colors first in the foreground and background and then I will carry on. Now we are going to add those colors to our left and right segments. To do this, right click on the left segment and choose Left End Points Color. Then choose the color you see on the screen. Next we are going to repeat the process. So right click on the right corner on the triangle and choose right end points color. Sorry that you cannot see this on my screen. Then choose the color which is showing now. Select the middle point and then move it to the right. OK, our gradient is ready, now we can work with it. Click on the tool options, you see our gradient is already there. Set shape to be linear, repeat to triangular wave. Then pull the gradient like this, at an angle. For now it looks nothing special, but it's just the beginning. Create a new transparent layer. Then go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. I've been using this filter today, so Jim remembered my settings, but what you need to do is to move sliders, X slider, to the very end of the left hand side and Y slider to the very end of the right hand side. And then detail you can put to maximum, which is 15 pixels. By clicking on New Seed, you can choose the version of the solid noise you like the most. Set this layer to Grain Extract and then Duplicate it. Next we are going to merge all the layers into one. So I'm going to Image, Merge Visible Layers. Create a new transparent layer, just above your background layer. Take Paths tool and set four points like you see on the screen. Make sure that your points are on the corners of the image. Go to Paths dialog and select Selection from Path. Set white color as your foreground color, then take Blend tool.
then go to Tools Options and for Gradient select Foreground to Transparency, Shape to Linear and Repeat to Known. Pull your gradient as you see on the screen from the top to the bottom. Select Select None. Duplicate the layer with white gradient. Next go to Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontally. And again Layer, Transform, Flip Vertically this time. Create a new transparent layer, just above all the layers. Set your foreground to black, take Blend tool. In Tool options set this gradient to foreground to transparency, shape to be linear, repeat to known. Set your top layer to overlay. Pull this gradient from the middle of your image halfway down. All these bits and pieces just add up to the whole effect of the background. I feel like my white gradients are a bit too strong, so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit, like 75% or so. Next I'm going to Image, Merge Visible Layers, Merge. Now we are going to add text to our image. Take Text Tool, create this window on the background layer and then I'm going to use font which is called Induction, size 100 and I'm going to print GIMP in small letters. I'm positioning this text somewhere in the middle of the image. I'm clicking on the rectangular select tool to deactivate the text tool. And now we are going to work with this text to make it more interesting than just black color. Right click on the text layer, Alpha to Selection. Now we are going to add some gradient to this text. Take Blend tool, find the gradient we created earlier today. Shape should be set to be linear. Repeat to None. Pull this gradient from the middle of your selection to the bottom of the selection. Keeping the selection, create a new transparent layer just above all layers. Go to Select, Grow and choose two pixels. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Take Bucket Fill tool and fill your selection with black. Select Select None. Move this layer down below the golden text layer. Next duplicate it. Bottom black layer call black and top black layer call white. Switch off visibility of the white layer for now by clicking on the eye icon. Select the layer called black. Take move tool 
and using the arrows on your keyboard move this layer a bit down. Switch back on the white layer, select it, then go to colors, invert, and now this layer is actually white. Take move tool and move this layer up a few pixels. I actually made a mistake because I move it down first, but it should be up a few pixels. Then move this white layer below black layer. I feel like I moved it up a bit too much with this white layer, so I'm going to move it down just a few pixels so you can just see the outline of white. A few more layers I need to be added and now we are going to work on shadow. Switch off the background layer and then go to image, merge visible layers. Switch the background layer on again and then select the white layer, which is the text layer, then right click Alpha to Selection. Mm. Here better if I create new layer before I forget, so new transparent layer. With rectangular select tool I'm going to tools option and I'm choosing subtract from selection. Then I'm going to create a rectangular from the middle of the selection to the bottom and this will remove the selection from that part. Foreground should be set to white. We are taking blend tool now, going to tools option, setting gradient to foreground to transparency and shape to linear. And then we need to pull this gradient from the bottom part of the selection upwards. Keeping the selection, set the layer with white gradient to overlay. Next, create a new transparent layer. Set your foreground to black. Take Blend tool and pull from the top of the selection a bit downwards. Go to Select, Select None and then set this layer to Overlay. Here I feel we need to duplicate the layer with white gradient, so please duplicate it. Switch off background layer, then go to Image, Merge Visible Layers. Switch the background layer back again. Select the layer with text, right click Alpha to Selection. Create a new transparent layer, take Bucket tool and fill this selection with black. Select, select None. Move the top layer below the layer with text, then go to Filters, Blah, Gaussian Blah. Select 5 pixels radius and press OK. Duplicate this layer with the shadow and repeat the step, previous one, which is going to Filters, Blah, Gaussian Blah, but this time select 20 pixels radius. Ok, we've got our shadows, but I think that I'm going to duplicate the top layer again with the 20 pixels blah and reduce the opacity to about like 30%. We are about finished here with our wallpaper, so now we can match all visible layers. Go to image, match visible layers. Last thing I want to do is some glare. We don't have to do this, but it's just my idea. So create a new transparent layer, 
Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Gradient, Flare. Here I chose G Flare 101. For the settings, well, I played with them before, so they are ready for me for this image. And you can just copy all my settings, or you can play with your own settings and then see if it works for you. One thing I want to say is that uh, I chose this color for this glare is yellow, and as you see, it's in the hue rotation, you can select this. So, this 80.3 is this color. Here is my glare and I'm going to use move tool to position it where I want. I prefer to have it at the top corner of the letter P. Now we are done, go to image, flatten image. This is it, this is the wallpaper. As the very last thing, I'm going to zoom it in for you to make sure that you see the result well. And that's it. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment if you liked my tutorial.